What's going on everybody? This is Afro Think Tank. I got something I want you guys to think about real hard. I want you to think about it real hard. You know, we always talk about, especially African Americans, we always talk about, you know, well, not all of us, only the ones who don't know anything about history. Uh, the Africans sold us into slavery, and they say it as if they're not African, all right? But they're taking offense to being sold from Africa to the Americas by their own. That's the offense. So they're recognizing that they're African, but at the same time, they want to disassociate themselves from the history, right? And I want you to think about this. There's a certain type of African that was willing to sell other Africans into the transatlantic slave trade, right? There were certain kinds. And if you know anything about history, we have never been united, so to speak, the way we talk about it today as Africans, because Africa is basically the planet. Calling yourself African is like calling yourself a human. Africa is like the planet, all right? And they're different people, even though they're all black. But they're different people, okay? Different kingdoms. Most of the time, Africans were selling their enemies into slavery. Or they were criminals and they were just snatching people. Or they were traitors and cunarians and they took the money and trinkets from the Europeans, the shiny objects, and sold their own people into slavery, right? They valued money, resources, and shiny things over the people that looked like them. And they, they wanted to collaborate with the white man because they enjoyed what the white man gave them. Right. They enjoy the monetary value of dealing with the white man. All right. So think about those type of Africans that, in fact, did sell their own and their enemies and criminals into the transatlantic slave trade. Right. And what you don't know is some people don't realize is sometimes you were the one selling your enemies and then other times you got captured by your enemies and got sold so african americans are we are those very same africans that sold each other into the transatlantic slave trade and that dna of that traitorous cunarian is in us to this day and some end more than others just like during the civil rights movement no let's let's go back just like when George Washington, you know, we had an opportunity to, 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 to delete George Washington, but there was a traitor, even amongst the Africans put into the transatlantic slave trade, that would tell on the other Africans seeking freedom. They would go to run the massa because they enjoyed the benefits and the comfortability of masses, masses monetary value. They enjoyed the trinkets that they got from the slave master. They enjoyed being slaves. They were okay with being where they are in their condition. And they didn't want they didn't want other Africans who had the audacity to want freedom to mess up what they had going on. They didn't want to rock the boat, right? Because they knew everybody would get punished. Right? So they would snitch. There was one African slave that stopped other Africans from poisoning George Washington. Okay? And there's plenty of stories like that throughout the hundred years of the transatlantic slave trade and throughout the years of slavery after the transatlantic slave trade was over during the American trade slave trade. After the transatlantic slave trade, we had Reconstruction. During Reconstruction, we also had traitors to the black community who would rather take European trinkets, white people trinkets, and they will undermine black progress, right? The same DNA of the original Cunarians and traitors to the black African community. You see, once, once we got over here, the Africans who were originally fighting each other, the different nations the different nations who were fighting each other, the same way in Europe, you got different European nations fighting each other. Just like the same same way in, in Asia, you got different nations of Asians fighting each other. The same way in Central and South America, you have different nations fighting each other, even though they're all the same. You had Indians, different nations at war with each other. Europeans, different nations, different tribes, different groups of Europeans fighting each other. And just like every other place in the world, in Africa, you had different nations fighting each other, right? So in America, after Reconstruction, you know, we had the Civil Rights Movement. We had traders within the community who's willing to sell out their black brothers and sisters. You see, African Americans are what a unified Africa looks like. We are a combination of all those great tribes that once warred with each other for hundreds of years for various different reasons who were forced to unite. 
African Americans are a united Africa over here. The nation of African Americans are a united Africa. We are an example of what Africans can do when they stop fighting each other for superficial reasons and deal with the real and bigger and more dangerous enemy out there that means to do all of us collective harm, no matter what it is that we had issues with each other back in the day. And that's the thing we need to wrap our hands around. And just like you have the DNA of all those traitors, those DNA still goes on. And look at today. Look at today. Look at 60 years ago. We had all those people undermining all the black power movements, all those black agents. We like to say agents, real agents who undermine the black power movement on behalf of the CIA and the American government, and the British government and the French government. We still have them today. The DNA of the traitors is still in us. And some in stronger than others. And look at social media today. Look at all the black social media social media um, uh, contributors, the black social media influencers who rather get that algorithmic YouTube dollars. You see, they know to put certain divisive topics to get people to watch the video. So they make sure to divide the black people because it's entertaining not only for low educated black people, but for the rest of the world who love to see black people fight because it's more entertaining. Nobody like cares to see Latinos fight each other, even though they very well do fight each other. Nobody cares not as entertaining to see white people fight each other, even though they do just like us. They fight each other, and when they fight, they kill each other legitimately. We talk about black on black crime. White people take black on black crime to, a, to the next level. They're dropping bombs and drones and chemicals and poisons, and they kill each other. Nation is nation on nation type fighting over there. These people kill each other. This is this is their culture. Look at look at the Latin American culture. Look how them Latin Americans kill each other. Look how they do do to each other. We don't do ourselves. We we have our own violence, but we're not as bad as everybody else. But yet we act like we are. We act like we're so bad. But look at everybody else. We don't even compare to them. Not even a little bit. Right. But in today's age, we still have the DNA of those traders who rather take European trinkets over the benefit of communing with your brother and sister to make sure your brother and your sister to your left and your to your right can get a leg up. And that's why you got these social media guys. Right. You know who they are, who will sell their own community out for YouTube money, for TikTok money, for Instagram money. All white people got to do is dangle money. If you want to if you want to go fishing for a coon, you want to go fishing for a coon, just just to show them some dead presidents. They'll come right on out. All of them. They will say anything, do anything to get that white dollar, because the white dollar is more important than black unity. To them, the white dollar is more important than black unity. And they show you every day who they are. And unfortunately, we have a lot of susceptible black people who listen to these guys. That's why all the biggest black YouTubers, for the most part, all of them are mostly coons. Most of all of them are coons. And look how many views they got. YouTube makes sure to push and push their, their videos because it behooves the white man to make sure that that is the ultimate narrative. That black people are violent. Black people don't get along. Black drama. Black celebrity drama, black political drama, everything black and negative gets pushed out into the media because it's entertainment for all those who want to see our downfall. And all the good black people, the ones that promote unity, the ones that promote education and black excellence, you don't even see them. They're stuck in the shadows because white people, the white algorithm does not want to see those people thrive. Do not want to see that information get pushed out to the black masses because the most dangerous thing in this world is the intelligent, unified African people. That's the most dangerous. A happy black man is the most dangerous man in the world. A black man who knows who he is is the most dangerous man in the world. A black woman and a black man unified is the most dangerous group of people in the world. A unified communal black people are the most dangerous group of people in the world because we have everything and all the tools to, to excel above and beyond anything that they can possibly imagine. Because history says when black people are unified, when black people get their stuff together, when black people are not just surviving, but thriving, black people excel exponentially. So all of you guys need to pay attention to who the coons are. They usually got the most money. Pay attention to who the coons are. They usually got the biggest YouTube channels. Pay attention to the coons are. They usually go against every black leader that dare to try to be a leader. Every time, all the time. But they never have smoke for they massa the white man. They leave them alone. Pay attention. Anyway, that's all I got to say. It's Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach them. I'm out.